What's up YouTube, this is Fate coming to you again with another deck profile at the locals and today we've got a much more fun build for you uh, tonight. I've got uh, Lucas here with a Skull Surfer deck, with, so without further ado, take us away. Uh, hi, so first main consistency, three Skull Servants, obviously they're necessary. Uh, next card is actually White Prince that came out recently. It, its effect is you send one Lady in White and one Skull Servant from your deck or hand to the grave. Its all secondary effect is to also Special Summon King Skull Servant from your deck. Very useful, it's the necessary tech that made the Skull Servant deck. Next is Lady in White, 2020. 2200 defense, great defender, 3 star. Its effect, it protects level 3 and lower zombies besides itself from being destroyed by battle as well as spell and trap effects. Also, every card you've seen so far is considered Skull Servant and Grave. This is also, oops, this is also considered Skull Servant and Grave. It's my third one. Uh, there's three of these. And that lets you search stuff from your banished. Um, usually run three of these, I believe I just... We'll just pretend that's a third for pre now. Pretend this is a third. Um, they can either re-add your banished skull servants back into your grave for king's effect, or you can special summon a banished king or lady back onto the field. Also consider skull servant and grave. Next is the main consistency of the deck besides Skull Servant, King of Skull Servant. He gains a thousand attack for every Skull Servant in Grave, which every card you've seen so far is considered Skull Servant. So basically your goal is to get all of those into the grave and boost them. He can get to, I believe, up to, well, over 10,000 attack if you do it correctly. Over 9,000! <laughs> Next up, we have some Goblin Zombie. This is for the consistency of the deck. Uh, if he leaves the field, you can add a zombie monster from your deck to your hand, which is very useful. You can add White Prince, you can add King, whatever you want. It's very useful. Also, if you actually do damage with him, you mill a card from your opponent, which is often very useful. Uh, three Battle Fader, just because it can be a slow deck at times. It happens, you get a bad draw. I can run two. What are you going to do? Like uh, I also run three Armageddon Knight, just because it gets the consistency to send White Prince, because White Prince does not have to go from field to grave, it's from anywhere to grave that he gets his effect. So this sends a dark, and that gets the point across. And it's on summon, which is really nice. Next up is Zombie Master. Zombie Master is, again, to ditch from your hand in case you draw into that White Prince, so you can't ditch it with Armageddon Knight. You ditch it with this, and you get to summon something, say you have a king in grave, it's a really good combo. Also, if you have, uh, say, Goblin Zombie, if you would have Laval Dragon, or Laval Chain, sorry, um, Laval Val Chain, it's a very good tech card because then you can just send your White Princess to grave. Um, two Summoner Muck, just because there's some spell and traps, again, for the consistency to go into the extra deck. Uh, that's about it. You can also pull out Armageddon Knight for the extra, um, send to grave, which is really nice. Two Dark Greffer, which, this is again for the hand consistency, to send one Dark Monster from your hand to send another one from your deck. So say you got a White Prince in hand, you can send another one from deck. It's a two for one, essentially. It's really good. Um, I run one at Mystical Space Typhoon. Uh, depends what the use is, usually just for a random pop or a pop of a specialized yeah, trap. That, or you can ditch it with Summoner Mock. One Allure of Darkness for the draw. One Reinforcements of the Army, just to search for either Dark Graffer or Armageddon Knight. One Foolish Burial, so you can send that White Prince as soon as possible. One One for One, so again, hand, you can send your White Prince to get out your King. Burial from another dimension, this is to get your banished cards back to boost King's um, attack again. And then three upstart goblin just for the consistency as well as ditching for the summoner monk. Um, my extra deck is nothing special. It's Exiton, Ragn the Zero, number 66, my stroke, 63, uh, 54, 80. 
I have two 101s, uh, 50, another Maestro, a Gaga Ga Cowboy, and one Kane, and one Able. That's it. But basically, the extra deck's uh, uh, pretty much the cherry on top to the bulk of the Kingdom of the Skull Servants. So that's your main OTKO. That is the mo main OTKO. All right. Thank you again for giving the deck profile. And as always, comment, rate, and subscribe. And until next time.